Hey guys, so this is gonna be a little, hold on. Hey guys, so I wanted to try out a new recipe today by one of the girls I follow on um, Instagram who, do, who does Weight Watchers and I'm going to make that today. Um, I made a lot of um, bubble, bubble up, bakes, casseroles, whatever you guys call it. Um, and they've been turning out really good and so I'm gonna try a different one out and going to share that with you guys. This is what I'm going to try making. This is the buffalo chicken and bacon bubble up. And does that not look good? It says that this takes like 40, 50 minutes, but um, it is 10.45 a.m. It's early and I'm actually going to prep the chicken and the way I prep the chicken is through my crock pot. So um, I'll show you guys what I do there. I got that one from, um, what's her name? Daily Dose of Pepper on Instagram and she's got an amazing blog. I'll put that down below. And the recipe that I'm actually making today, the full bubble up is by Drizzle Me Skinny, which I will have down below as well. So I'll have all this down below, but um, let's begin. So I'm gonna prep the chicken. If you make your chicken through the um, crock pot, you could have some leftovers that will be good to eat later on, like on top of a salad or whatever. So um, that's the good thing. And what you're gonna need is your chicken, of course, um, some low sodium chicken broth, and some minced onions, optional, salt, pepper. Um, you can use garlic salt, I don't use garlic salt in mine. This is gonna be a vlog style recipe video, so I hope you guys don't mind. I know sometimes I do it a little more just showing the food, but I really hope you guys don't mind. Um, it's just, I gotta get this going, so. I think this is a, this is about two, two to three pounds of chicken right here. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so you don't have to measure it, but with the cup you can kind of wing it, but I'm just doing this. Um, I'm gonna put in three cups uh chicken broth i love making chicken this way the first time i did it i was so nervous but then it was so easy to shred and it was delicious i'm gonna add a little bit of onions this i kind of wing it however i want this is the best thing ever i found this at our local grocery store and this is like our thing now so you don't even have to cut the onions they're already cut in here they're real red onions just cut up for you and they're fresh. The onion, it adds a lot of flavor. I love it. Even if you're not a real big onion person, you don't taste the actual onion, if that makes sense. It just, oh, it just gives it so much flavor. So I'm adding about three tablespoons of this. The lighting's not that perfect. Okay, now pepper. Uh, you could kind of wing it with the pepper. I love pepper, so. <laughs> okay, a little dash of salt. That wasn't a dash, huh? Then I'm gonna just kinda mix it a little bit. Daily Dose of Pepper, the one that, that I got this, how to make my chicken, prep it. Um, she actually adds celery salt and garlic powder. You could do it low for six hours or high for four hours. So I did mine high for four hours and it was perfect. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna smell so good in our house. Four hours. It has now been four hours and I just put it on warm and oh, you guys, it smells so good. Do you guys see how well that shredded? Okay, and now I am cooking bacon. It says around five slices, but I obviously have six. As I'm making the bacon, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. It says 375, but I read comments underneath and people were saying 350 is better. So doing 350. And then I'm gonna be mixing those with some chicken. One third cup, a quarter cup, six ounces. Mixing this and then I'm going to add the chicken. Now 
just got my casserole dish and then I'm going to lightly spray it and then add the biscuits. This is a 7.5 ounce and all I'm doing is just breaking it up into pieces like this and then just laying them out. So once that's finished then I just get spoonfuls and just plop it on there and make sure it's evenly spread. So let me do cheese. And then this is ready to go in the oven for another 10 minutes. Do you hear the sizzle? Do you hear the bubble up? <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside. Here is the beautiful, beautiful bubble up. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Mmm. It's so good. Here is my dinner. And I am so excited because I already tried that and it was so good. I definitely recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!